Adversity will make you great. What do I mean by that? Well, in 2014, I competed in a, a new organization. I set a uh, Illinois State deadlift record at 560 at 181. And I was curious the other day to see what the world record was in this organization in, in my uh, age division, weight class. And I found it was 135. And I'm pretty sure, I've, I've seen this before, where these guys would go in and pay their fee and take a token lift just to, to win a trophy and say that they're the champion. And, and that certainly doesn't build character and it certainly doesn't build your body or your, or your power lifts. It's just kind of being a weasel. Uh, I mean, I've actually been on stage next to somebody that's done that and it's just, it's very sad. The point I want to make is uh, you don't see this anymore because there's a proliferation of organizations, powerlifting organizations, to the point where very likely you're going to be in a division weight class all by yourself and you've already won. If you can get your first lift in, you've already won. And that, uh, that's not what competition is about. You're there to compete against other people in your age group, in your weight class, to see how you stack up, how you rate. And uh, the point is that in the old days, and I say old days, and I'm talking 80s and 90s, especially the 80s, late 80s, you could see uh, uh, divisions that were 15 deep, 10 deep. It was very common. And I can remember, well, my first two years, I, I couldn't even place. And I went to a lot of meets. I've been to 200 meets, at least 200 meets in my career. And for two years, I could not even place. And I say that you'd have to get at least third to get a trophy. So uh, I didn't even get third. Like a lot of fourth place uh, placings, I won't say wins, placings, but never got a trophy. But I just kept at it. But I can remember being way below 10th place, you know, starting out uh, in some of the big meets. I didn't, I didn't let the meets intimidate me to the point where I wouldn't go. I just kept pushing and pushing and pushing. And when you have to fight your way to the top over the years, that builds character and that, that adversity uh, makes you a great lifter. You have to learn different techniques as to how to improve your lifts. You have to learn how to lift properly and uh, assistance work will improve your lifts. You have to learn diet, you know, nutrition, supplementation and you become a master after you know 30, 40 years of doing that. But that's not going to happen now with these guys that are going into these meets and there's nobody to compete with. The other problem with guys that are young and competing right now or want to compete is they go to the internet for, for advice from these personal trainers who themselves have never had a career. They're trainers before they've had their own career and that's, that's not a good thing. You know, now there are some guys out there that uh, are legit, the older guys that are masters that you can go to for advice. You know, you've got Louis Simmons out there, right? You've got uh, in bodybuilding, there's a lot of great uh, information on uh, Rick's Corner, Rick Drayson. He has a lot of, uh, of different types of lifters, a lot of bodybuilders on his uh, talk show. Um, but you, you can go to uh, Andreas Kali. He's, uh, he's got a website. Robbie Robinson. Now, these guys aren't power lifters, but uh, you get my drift. So you've got to be very careful who you get information from. Fred Hatfield has a, has a, uh, um, a website and a lot of great uh, uh, instructional videos. Fred was the first man to uh, squat 1,000 pounds. So just because somebody's older, don't write them off. Those are the guys that you really want to seek out and ask questions of. Now, I've been young once, and I know how it is. You, you want to be great now. You want to win your trophies now. You don't want to wait. But really, time flies, and uh, you'll be looking back 20, 30, 40 years from now and, and uh, wishing you had done things differently. What I would like to say to you is, Go for the big organizations, the older organizations. They have lots of members that uh, hold full power meets. You know, International Powerlifting Federation, IPF, that's number one. Uh, 
you know, the APF, American Powerlifting Federation, the big federations, where you're not going to walk in there and get first place the first time you lift in a meet. But this will this will this will uh, develop you as a lifter and as a man or a woman, whatever you, whatever you happen to be. Uh, it will develop develop your character and the, the adversity, the 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 fight to get to the top. Will build build character and you'll build your knowledge, so that when you are the age of a master, you will be a true master. You will have that master's knowledge, and uh, you will have a career that you can look back back on with pride. 